Mom. Oh, oh, oh. 
We thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints for that which is good on our behalf at all times, and to keep the life and standing of our honored Father, the Archpriest Pope of Atawadros II, and his partners in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Metropolitan of Asirabion, and our Father, the Bishop of Akirillos, and to repose the soul of his servant, Archdeacon Marcos Hanna, and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of the wicked men, and the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest. Take them away from us and from all your people, and from this soul, and from this holy place that is yours. But those things which are good and profitable do provide what's given us the authority, read on sermons and the scorpions, and upon all the power of the enemy. <laughs>
قال ما اسمه تطر مسكون يا كيرجو نجيني من الدماء لا خلاص لانك لا اثرت الذبح لك انت الان اعطي ولكنك لا تصر بالمحروقات الذبح لا روح من صحك القلب المكسر المتواضع لا يرزل الله انما يا رب من صلاه خلاص يهيم وتبنى اسوار وشيء حين اذا تصر بذبح البيض From the psalm of our different prophet and king, Miss Bishop Suleiman, come here and I will tell you the, you, the, the fear God, what great things he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth and exalted him with my tongue. If I have regarded iniquity in my heart, let not the Lord be hearken me to me. Therefore, God has hearkened to me. He has attended to the voice of you, my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not <coughs> turned away my prayer, nor his mercy for all me. Alleluia. Your law is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and determined to keep the judgment of your righteousness. I have been very greatly afflicted. O Lord, quicken me according to your word. Accept, I pray, O Lord, the free will offering of my mouth. My soul is continually in your hands, and I have not forgotten your law. Sinners spread a snare for me, but I erred not from your commandments. I have inherited your testimonies forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your ordinances forever in return for your mercy. لأني لا أنسى شريعتك نصب الأشرار لي فخا اسمك خالد إلى الأبد ذكرك يا رب من جيل إلى جيل لأن الرب يحاكم شعبه بعدل ويعطف على عبيده يا بيت إسرائيل بارك الرب يا بيت هارون بارك الرب يا بيت لاوي بارك الرب يا خائف الرب بارك الرب مبارك الرب من سهيون الرب ساكن في أروشالي أللويا تنقش تمك وبرسوس نمبك يوت
بولس فصل من رسالة معلمنا بولس الرسول الأولى لأهل كرونسوس بركة الصلوات وتربطة تكون معنا أمين ولكن كل واحد في ردته المسيح باكورة ثم الذين للمسيح في مجيئه وبعد ذلك النهاية متى سلم الملك لله سلم الملك لله الآب متى أبطل كل رياسة وكل سلطان وكل قوة لأنه يجب أن يملك حتى يضع جميع الأعداء تحت قدميه آخر عدو يبطل هو الموت لأنه أخضع كل شيء تحت قدميه ولكن حينما يقول أن كل شيء قد أخضع فواضح أنه غير الذي أخضع له الكل ومتى أخضع له الكل فحين إذن الإبن نفسه أيضا سيخضع للذي أخضع, أخضع له الكل كي يكون الله الكل في الكل وإلا فماذا يصنع الذين يعتمدون من أجل الأموات إن كل الأموات لا يقومون البتة فلماذا يعتمدون من أجل الأموات ولماذا نخاطر نحن كل ساعة إني بافتخاركم الذي لي في يسوع المسيح ربنا أموت كل يوم إن كنت كإنسان قد حاربت وحوشا في أفسس فما المنفع لي إن كان الأموات لا يقومون فلنأكل ونشرب لأننا غدا نموت لا تضلوا فإن المعاشرات الرديئة تفسد الأخلاق الجيدة اصحوا للبر ولا تخطئوا لأن قوما ليست لهم معرفة بالله أقول ذلك لتخذيلكم لكن يقول قائل كيف يقام الأموات وبأي جسم يأتون يا غبي الذي تزرعه لا يحيا إن لم يمت والذي تزرعه لست تزرع الجسم الذي سوف يصير والحبة خردل مجردة ضبها من حنطة أو أحد البواقي ولكن الله يعطينا يعطيها جسما كما أراد ولكل واحد من البذور جسمه نعمة الله الآب هل تحلى أرباح من غابائي وقتي أمين أيها صوت يوسا أجيوس إشيرو أجيوس أثاناتوس أكبر سن وجنتي سهلة Christ our God, who said to us, saying, The honored disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men, have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. May we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels through the prayers of your saints. Rose of Exhausty, Lord, have mercy. Remember also our Master, all those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers, which we offer up unto you, Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. So most of the week, Galileo, Marochas, Fente Ecclesia, Fente Pefla, So Maro is my roof, Eid Cathedra, and Tene Presbyte, Ero, So Jeffco, and Omit. Jeffco and Omet Yot, Emmy Britty and Hunt, so Evan of Ingenious, so Tono or Feo, 
Amen. <laughs> أحمدك لأنك صنعتني بإعجازك المدهش ما أعجب أعمالك ونفسي تعلم ذلك يقينا ولم يخف عليك كياني عندما كونت في السر الليل يا لم تراف علينا وارحمنا وجعلنا مستحقين لسماع إنجيلك المقدس فصل من بشارة الإنجيل لمعلمنا ماري يوحنا البشير التلميذ الطاهر بركاته على جميعنا أمين وكان إنسان يونانيون من الذين صعدوا ليسجدوا في العيد فتقدم هؤلاء إلى فيلبس الذي في بيت صيد الجليل وسألوه يا سيد نريد أن نرى يسوع فأتى فيلبس وقال لإندراوس ثم قال إندراوس وفيلبس ليسوع وأما يسوع فأجاب وقد أتت الساعة ليتمجد ابن الإنسان الحق الحق أقول لكم إن لم تقع حبة الحنطة في الأرض وتمت فهي تبقى وحدها لكي إلى ما تتأتي بثمر كثير من يحب نفسه يهلكها ومن يبغض نفسه في هذا العالم يحفظها في حياة أبدية إذ كان أحد يخدمني فليتبعني وحيث أكون أنا هناك أيضا يكون خدمي وإن كان أحد يخدمني يكرمه الآن استمعوا جميعا معي اولاد الكنيسه الارثوذكسيه خدام هيك الله نروح اليوم فرح نز عن أخينا حبيب رئيس شمس المكرم مرقص حنا تأملوا يا أهل المعرفة منقى في وسطكم مخاطبة ودعك يا مذبح الله الذي كنت أهتم بإعداد لأباء كهنة يقدم فيه السنوات القدسات عن غفران خطايا الشعب ودعكم يا أباء كهنة الذي كنت خادما معهم ونهم في جميع خدمة الكهنوت أودعكم يا أخوات الشمامسة شركاء في التسبيح والتراتير وحي أودعكم يا أخوات المؤمنين شعب الله المختار المساعدين في سائر الأعمال حقا نقول لكم يا أباء وأخواتي إنكم من الآن لا ترون وجهي بعد أسأل الرب عني يا أباء يمتحن يتحن المسيح عن ضعفي أطلب من الرب عني يكون دخولي أمامه بدانا ويسمحني عن أسامي وأعطيني رحمة أمام منبر مرهوب سمحوني واغفر لي ما تقدم مني الآن أنا قد رحلت عنكم 
وأنتم أيضا تابعين رسالك إلى في طريقي امض بسلام يا أخونا أنا مسكن الفرح في حضن إبراهيم وإسحاق ويعقوب امض بسلام حيث أستفانوس رئيس الشمامسة امض بسلام سلام الرب معاك ويسامحك من قبلنا أن يعيننا كما عانك ويعوضك عن خدمة في كنيسة الأبكار في أوشنين السماوية أما وضع أن رب منه الحزن إن قلب وإن كآبة بشفاعة السيدة الطاهر مريم وجميع الشهداء والقدسين آمين Son and the Holy Spirit, this very soul of Archdeacon Mortmos Hanna, for whom we are gathered. O Lord, repose him in the kingdom of heaven. Open unto him, O Lord, the gates of heaven, and receive him unto you according to your great mercy. Open unto him, O Lord, the gate of righteousness, that he may enter therein and rejoice there. Open unto him, O Lord, the gate of paradise, as you open to that thief. Open unto him, O Lord, the gate of the kingdom. May he be a partaker with all the saints. Open unto him, O Lord, the gates of rest, that he may sing with all the angels. May he be worthy to see the joy and let the angels of light lead him to the life. May he repose in the bosom of our holy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Forgive him the sins which he has aforetime committed, both knowingly and unknowingly. For you, O Lord, know the feebleness and the weakness of humanity. And in your mercy, give consolation to all whom he has left behind and to his household. Give unto them patience and a good heavenly reward. Through the intercessions of Our Lady, the Holy Theotoko, St. Mary, and all the choirs of heaven, let both your mercy and your help be with your people. Grant them coolness, establish us in your orthodox faith, and be a protector unto us, we the faithful. We worship you, O Christ, together with the good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you, cruci- you have come and saved us. <laughs> ملك غالين مجد الله في الأعلى على السلام والناس المصارع سبحة نبارك ما بقدر لك نعترف ننتظر قدوس الله قدوس القاي قدوس حدا يمكن ذو نظر الحمد قدوس الله قدوس القاي على سلب عن الحمد قدوس الله قدوس القاي رجع فما Sosie, <laughs> Oh, 
Pertinus Mariam, Tito to post web, Tia Prostatis, et at home at the name, Tati Metromi. سبح ما رحمك يا ربي لا أبد لا أبد ومن جيل إلى جيل بفمي أخبر بحق ما إنك وتسحق بر and have overburdened me O God hear my sighs and cast them away from me اجعل لي مثل العشار الذي اخطا الي وترافت علي وغفرت له خطايا make me like the altar as whom you have redeemed you have saved and rescued her for she pleased you مثل اللسة الذي سلب عن يمينا وطراف بك هكذا قائلا Remember me, O my Lord, remember me, O my God Remember me, O my King, when you come into your kingdom فأنت يا مخلصي قابلت إليك اعترافه وترفت عليك وأرسلته إلى الفردوس Likewise I the sinner, Jesus my true King and God Have compassion upon me and make me as one of them أنا أعرف إنك صالح ورؤوف ورحيم أذكرني برحمتك إلى أبد الأبد Ask you, O oh my Lord Jesus, do not in your anger and likewise also in your wrath Do not chase me with my ignorance لنقلد شموت الخاطئ أزل أن يرجع ويحيا طار أفعل ضعفي ولا تنظر إلي بغضب I have sinned, O my God, is my Lord I have sinned, O Jesus, my God O King, do not count the sins which I have committed أسألك يا مخلصي فلتدركني ما رحمة لتخلصني من الشدائس المعاندة لنفسي Send me to the fire for ignorance like Sodom, and likewise do not destroy me like I have Mercies come unto me quickly that I may proclaim with the poor with an unceasing voice. من أجلها سأطلب إليك أيها رب الإله مخلصي لا تحاكمني أنا الضعيف الخاطئ. 
my many iniquities as a good and lover of men. God have mercy upon us according to your great mercy. Kuniyatin thumariyati safi wa intimniti ma hisnoti aniskini bi ahuye mebnev matiko. For that does has proclaim glad tidings to us, the peace of God for mankind. He is Jesus, the begotten of the Father. He was born of you for us, setting free our race. Lord Jesus Christ, make for yourself within us a temple for your Holy Spirit, glorifying you. God sends unto us his mercy and compassion through the station of Michael, the great archangel. All good are and every perfect gift comes to us from on high, from the Father of lights. Intercede on our behalf, O Holy Archangel. Call the head of the heavenly that he may forgive us our sins. You have come and enlightened us through your gospel and taught us the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. All the tribes of the earth were blessed through you and your words have reached the ends of the world. Shirinak obi marti roshere bi evangelisti shere bi apostolos abba marcus bi the uremos with the Lord on our behalf and holder of God the evangelist mark the apostle that he may forgive us our sins. A shahid al mukarram aladi lerabba na yasu al masi al qadis istafa no salzati. الذي كشف له الله أسرارا عظيمة واستنار وجهه مثل وجيم لك الذي رأى السماوات مفتوحة وربنا سعيسو عن يمين أبيه الذي حمونه كان يسلم من خلاصهم. لأنهم لا يدرون ماذا يصنعون من أجل عم يطلبهم يا ربي لا تبكتهم. He finished his course and died for the truth, 
and put on the everlasting crown of martyrdom. السلام لك أيها المجاهد الذي ربنا يسوع المسيح القديس استطاع الذي تأويله الأكلي. To the Lord on our behalf, hopeless, parched, and stiff, and the first martyr that He may forgive us our sins. Moore is the strong martyr, truly brave, and wore the head of sixty. Six hundred soldiers of the Thebian legion or an Shosho babe. Obeth Oab Mori Centar Maximiano SP Oro Abrashi Dish Tashichoro. All glory is due to you and موسيقى <تصفيق> Martyr, held to your grace, held to the struggle bearer, Saint Mary, the and the choice and no be not in the Keys of the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Father of our Lord, that He may forgive us our sins. Shobin so erisom se gon chenimat chosi tarakin cheto oti chosi nifterenti te السلام لك أيتها العذراء الملكة الحقيقية سلام لفخر جنسنا ولدي لنا إمانوئيل نسألك اسكورينا أيتها الشفيع المؤتمنة أمام ربنا يسوع المسيح لأغفر لنا المجد لك سيدنا وملكنا المسيح فخر الرسل الكليل الشهداء تأليل الصدقين سبات الكنائز وفرع الخطايا نبشر بسلس قدمس له واحد نسجد لهم يا رب ورحم يا رب we believe in one God God the Father creator of heaven and earth and of all things in unseen we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, the one that is of the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin made and became man. And he who was crucified for us, um, but he suffered and was buried on the third day, he rose from the dead according to the scriptures, ascended to heaven, and he seated at the right hand of his Father, and he's come again in his glory, church of living in the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets in one holy Catholic apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the nation. Tengo este volcaite en ti Anastasis en teniere Mohut nembi on kent de vire o nes neyo aemi
Ebenfalls <Sessizlik> تفضل يا ربنا يا اهل فوسهم جميعا في حضن ابان القديسين ابراهيم واسحاق ويعقوب اللهم بهم ابدو خضر على ما راح في فردوس النعيم الموضع الذي هروا منه الموضع الذي هرب منه الحزن والكآبة والتنهد في نور قديسك أقم أجسادهم في اليوم المغفل اليوم الذي رسمتك مواعيدك الحقيقية غير الكاذبة هب لهم خيرات مواعيدك ما لم تره عين وما لم تسمع به أذن وما لم يخطر على قلب بشر ما أعتدته يا الله for there is no death for your servants but a departure even if any negligence or heedlessness has overtaken them as men since they were closed in flesh and dwelt in this world O God as the good one lover of mankind graciously accord O Lord to repose and forgive them your orthodox Christians who are in the whole world from the east to the west from the north to the south each one according to his name and each one according to her name Lord, there is no death for your servants by the departure. For no one is pure without blemish, even though his life will not be a single day. As for those, O oh Lord, whose souls you have taken, may they, may, may they repose them, and may they be worthy of the kingdom of the heavens. As for us all, grant us our Christian perfection that will be pleasing to you, and give them and us a share inheritance with all your saints. the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. We pray for the blessed soul of Archdeacon Marcus Hanna, who departed from this world. That is, may the Lord to repose his blessed soul in the paradise of joy, in the voice of our father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I do express my heartfelt condolences, and also the condolences of His Grace Bishop Keolus was with us, and Bishop Surreal and Bishop Abraham who could not be with us, and all the clergy. That is, may the Lord to grant His heavenly comfort and peace in the heart of the whole uh, family, and all, all of you, and those who knew or have uh, Archdeacon Marcus, that is 
when we see in him that is a man of God who served God in honesty and dedication before his ordination as an archdeacon serving in this blessed church, serving the altar of the Lord, and also his service during all his life and is a model and example he is giving uh, for us. And we are sure that is our Lord who is merciful and, and just to receive him with this joyful voice. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over few things. I make you rural over many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And we, in this occasion, we find comfort in our faith regarding death, especially during this time of the year, the Great Lent. And also, we just celebrated the Feast of the Cross. And the Lord Jesus Christ, in his incarnation and crucifixion and resurrection, it's changing the meaning of this. The death which came into the life of a human being as a curse and as a punishment. It is changed to be a blessing, as it is mentioned in the book of Revelation. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. And we see this in the life of the archdeacon, Marcus, that is the Lord relieved him from suffering, especially in his last years as he carried the cross of sickness in patient and great faith. And he continued to service, to continue in his service, even with all the difficulty he's faced uh, to stand and to be and come to the serve uh, the altar. So we show that is now he rests from this suffering. And his works, his life, his model will follow him to witness in front of the Lord for him and for his life. And as we pray it in the litany for the departed, that is there is no death for your servant but a departure. Departure for a, a new life, which is a book of Revelation the Lord said, Behold, I make all things new. And this new life, that we look up to this, this life, there are always two aspects of death. The aspects which we see on earth, where we, there is sorrow for missing him. But there is another aspect of this, that is how the soul which completed the race to be received with, with joy. Like a person who traveled, those who say goodbye for him, they good, say goodbye for him with uh, sorrow, that missing him or her. But on the other side, when he, he or she arrives, they received with a great joy. The same also, the Lord and the saints and the heavenly hosts receive the soul of righteous people when the, the souls leave the body to, with, with a great joy. And it started the second phase of life where there is no suffering. God himself will be with them and be their God. And this is the real joy and eternal life to be with the Lord. There is no promise for us for eternal life or anything related to the body. But the only promise for us in eternal life is to be always with the Lord and to be under his care as our shepherd. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes and there shall be no more death, no sorrow, no crying, there shall be no pain.
for the former things have passed away. And that's why there is always a comparison between what we have here and what we will receive there. As St. Paul makes this comparison between our body as a tent, for we know that if our earthly house, this tent, is destroyed, we have a building from God, have not made with hands eternal in the heaven. So the comparison between the tent and the house, between the tent made by hand and the house which is eternal, and while our uh, tent is, is, is temporal. That's why we always, when we see as we go in age or we suffer sickness, and that is this deterioration of the body, is this a process by which we will receive the, the glorified body. And St. Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, put this in comparison about the, our own body and the body which we will receive. It is said it is sown in corruption, but it is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown natural body, and it is raised a spiritual body. And also he said, as we have borne the image of a man of dust, we will shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. Therefore, while we miss him in the flesh, we miss his service, he was miss being with us, but we pray that is the Lord to repose his soul and also to reward him for his, his work. And we all uh, looking for this day when we also leave this world. And we are called to be together, but not to be together here. Our gathering here is temporal, but the permanent gathering will not be here and it will be there in the heaven, and it will be with our Lord who loves us, who cares for us, who came to save us, and he offered himself on the cross, and he rose from the dead to open for us the resurrection, the real resurrection, the resurrection for, for life, and to open for us again the door of, of the paradise. So it is a time for us also, while we are in the great land, to reflect in our life, to reflect of our readiness for this time when we be called. We don't know when, but we know for sure that is when we leave this world. And that's why the wise person is always to be, to be ready, especially as we see in these days when we are surrounded by this pand pandemic, and how things need to be changed very quickly, and people to leave, people to get sick, and even the, the life of us to be changed, which give us indication how this world is temporal. Whatever achievements man to achieve, but still, we are vulnerable, we are weak. We, we are not from this world. And this earth is not our final destination. But our final destination is to be in heaven. So we thank God for his work in the life of Archdeacon Morcus. And we thank God that as he completed his race in, in, in victory. And we ask God as he helped him to also to help us, that is to complete our uh, struggle. نودع في هذا اليوم نفس غالية علينا جميعا هو نفس المحبوب لنفوسنا 
أرشديك مرؤس حنا الذي فارق عالمنا بعد فترة من المرض نتذكر خدمته ومحبته وتعبه في الخدمة في هذه الكنيسة منذ جسامته سنة 2008 وخاصة في الفترة الأخيرة أنا يعني كنت بتابع معاه جهاده في العلاج وإزاي كان بالنسبة له الوقوف بيمثل مشكلة لكن كان بيحرص أنه هو يجي ويخدم طبعا الخدمة بالذات خدمة الهيكل بتحتاج لوقوف فترات طويلة لكن كان إنسان محبته وربنا محبة كبيرة ومحبته للخدمة محبة عميقة وكان دايما أرى فيه الإنسان الوديع الإنسان التقي الإنسان المضحي الإنسان اللي بيقدم دايما حياته لأجل الله لذلك يعني نثق أن الله يستقبله بصوت فرح نعما أقول عبد الصالح والأمين كنت أمينا في القليل فأقيمك على الكثير أدخل إلى فرح سيدك ونطلب من ربنا أن هو يسكب عزاءه السماء في قلوب أسرته كل وكل أحبائه في في كل مكان سواء هنا أو في مصر أو في كل مكان عاش وخدم فيه والناس تمتعت بمحبته وإحنا دائما بنشكر الله على نعمه وبنشكره في كل حال ومن أجل كل حال وبنسق إنه حياتنا كلها في إيد الله وإنه حياتنا إحنا على الأرض هنا حياة مؤقتة لكن تطلعنا دايما هو تطلع إلى السماء لأنه ده المكان اللي إحنا نجتمع فيه صحيح بنودع أحباء لينا لكن بنودعهم على رجاء ذلك القديس بولس الرسول ألا تحزنوا كالبقين الذين لا رجاء لهم فنحن حينما نودع نفس غالية علينا نودعها بحزن على فراق الجسد ولكن حزن فيه رجاء الكتاب المقدس فرق بين نوعين من الحزن حزن بلا رجاء وهو حزن يؤدي إلى الموت وحزن برجاء أن في رجاء الرجاء هو رجاء القيامة أن احنا لا نرى الموت نهاية ولكن نرى زي ما بنصلي في أشيط الرقدين أنه هو انتقال انتقال من حياة إلى حياة وإن إن كنا من جهة الجسد لو سوف لا نراه فيما بعد ولكن نراه بعين الإيمان نحن نؤمن أن كنيستنا كنيسة واحدة أعضاء يجاهدون على الأرض مثلنا وأعضاء كملوا جهتهم وأيضا لذالوا معنا في ينتظرون حتى نكمل جهادنا حتى كلنا كجسد جسد المسيح نكون مجتمعين مع رأس الجسد اللي هو المسيح إلهنا الذي أحبنا وجاء لأجل خلاصنا ومات لأجل ما يفتح أمامنا الانتصار على الموت ولا يعود الموت له السلطان على الإنسان أنا شوكتك يا موت وأين غلبتك يا هوية فالمسيح قهر شوكة الموت وأعطانا أن نحن ننتظر, ننتظر على الموت بالموت داس الموت والذين في القبور أنعم عليهم بالحياة الأبدية ربنا ينيح نفسه الطهر في فردوس النعيم ويعزيكم جميعا ولإلهنا المجد الدائم إلى الأبد أمين Um, the family had asked me to read uh, um, this letter for everyone, but before I would like uh, to say on behalf of Otsa Buna Mark, uh, Deacon Cross, myself, would like to thank uh, His Eminence and the Serapion, His Grace, Bishop Krollos, and all the clergy, all the fathers and the archdeacons who came, and everyone else who came today. On behalf of everyone, would like to offer our condolences to the family, Tante Yvonne, uh, Ahmed and his family, Mervet and her family, and all the children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Uh, there is nothing else to be said after what Sayyidna said. Archdeacon was 
uh, not only uh, a dedicated servant, but also he was a father for all of us. He was a great teacher for all of us, taught us all how to be dedicated. And uh, Arshi Moros taught us how to serve and also serve with joy. If you look at all the pictures of Arshi, he's always uh, smiling, he's always happy. I remember he would always come very early to any service, no matter how sick he is, no matter how tired he is. And he would come very early to the baptism. Sometimes we have very early baptism. He would come and say, like, Abuna, I'm going to come. It's like, Arshi, this is going to be very early. But he would say, I, I need to come. And he would come very early, and he would be already here. I remember also in a, a part of his sickness that the doctors recommended that he shouldn't be driving. And I told him so many times, please do not drive. But he would drive and, and come and come very early. As Sayyidina said, because he loved God and he loved to serve his holy house and his holy name and his holy children. So we're going to miss our Deacon Mortus as a father, as a very faithful, dedicated servant uh, with us and as a teacher who taught us how to be committed, how to serve, and how to serve with joy. So I'll just read what the family uh, asked me to read for everyone. <clears throat> Dear family and friends, today we are coming together to celebrate and remember the life of our dearly beloved Archdeacon Moros, or how we know him, Geddo Arshi. As his family, the Hanna and the Barhuma families, we want to start by simply saying thank you. You see, Arshimor has taught us so much, none more important than to love and to serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Get to live a life we all should wish to emulate. He embedded love in each of our hearts and always ensured we love one another. Arshi always taught by an example. He traveled the world not for his own pleasure, but to be around his family and loved ones. He gave up so much of his life back in Egypt to live closer to his family. And for those lessons and constant examples of sacrifice, we thank him. He also lived a life dedicated to service. He taught us to serve and love God just as he did. He loved his wife Yvonne or Teta Eva to no end and always ensured we witnessed that. <clears throat> After his passing, Tita has not stopped telling us how he never let her go to sleep upset. She also told us stories of how Arshi would comfort her while others close to her departed, promising to fill all those roles for her, her father, her brother, her sister, her best friend. He treasured and loved his entire family and everybody had served and inter interacted with. As early as we can all remember, Arshi led his family to church, taught us hymns, and ensured we read our daily scriptures. As most of you know, Arshi was always happy, laughing, smiling, joking, even when his own life was most difficult. He adored his family, and we adored him. To his brothers, sisters, children, and grandkids, Arshi's house was always open. He loved it when we gathered with him, and he would do anything to ensure we shared a wonderful time together. He adored his brothers and sisters and admired them. He looked out for them <clears throat> and cared for them in their <clears throat> early years. Geddo showed his love through actions, Daily, Giddu would read the Bible. Once done, he would call a loved one, his son, his daughter, or one of his grandchildren to share what he read. In fact, he loved sharing details of his day with them and sharing every detail and struggle they were going through. The other thing that Giddu was so good at was constantly sending positive messages, verses, stories, pictures, memories, and videos all to brighten our day and to ensure our lives were filled with Christ. Archie had an amazing humor and a big heart, a heart we all benefited from. Giddu was the person that we would all take our friends to make them laugh, regardless of their age. Until his last day, he brightened every room he was in. Archie loved his two children and held them to the highest standard 
their happiness and success give him energy and passion to fight through any challenge or sickness. Additionally, he loved his grandkids and each held every special place in his heart. Giddo found his joy with his grandchildren, Vronia, Mokka, Mark, and Matthew. He wished a happy life for Vronia and Mokka and was involved in making sure they married God-serving husbands. He looked after his grandsons and ensured he shared a strong bond with them, which mostly meant wrestling and throwing them around until they gave up. His energy was infectious. He took us to church and made sure we were faithful servants. He instilled God's teachings in all of us. Many of the happiest time during our childhood were days and nights spent at my Giddu and Tata's house. We were so blessed that Giddu got to spend quality time with his two great-grandchildren, Eli and Maya, and he loved seeing their pictures and watching them grow. During his last days, Eli would pray nightly that, Giddu, that God make Archie feel better. As his closest family and friends, we are eternally grateful for the time we spent with him. We will live a life in his memory and ensure we lead the life he taught us, one filled with love for one another and a steadfast love for Christ. While I'm sure Archie would enjoy all his bragging about how much we all love and miss him so much already, he would much rather see everyone together and enjoying themselves. We believe that if Giddu was going to leave us with one message, it would be to serve God and serve each other. It's what he did his entire life, and it's the thing we can all learn and apply to our everyday life. Thank you, Arshi. You will always live in our hearts and minds and homes. We love you and we will see you very soon. Please pray for us, intercede for us, and always smile down on us. And thank you all to everyone who has traveled to, to be here today, family and friends from across the world who reached out and continue to reach out, and to those that have joined us virtually to share with us this special day. We are eternally grateful for your support and love. It's by the family. Amen. 
اللهم اجعلنا مستحقين نقول بالشكر يا ابانا الذي في السماوات تقدس اسمك لاتي ملكوتك وتكون المشيئه في السماء كذلك اللهم ارزقنا الذين في المحاقين اليوم ارزقنا جنتك حبت الله الاب ونعمه الابن الوحيد ربنا ولانا وخلصنا يسوع المسيح شاكة وعطيت خلص ولتكن مع جميعكم امضوا بالسلام سلام الله فليكن مع جميعكم ربنا يعزيكم جميعا